everyone, welcome back to Plants vs. Zombies. Today we're doing episode 2. Uh, when we last left off, we were in the middle of bowling. Bowling for zombies. Now I think we can finish this. Uh, I've got a lot of explodo nuts, but not enough walnuts. Let's try that, and then that, and then we'll wait for him. Uh, anyway, um, in the last episode I realized that the sound for these play, uh, let's plays are going to be really quiet, so you want to turn up your headphones. I promise that there won't be any really loud parts. I promise that there won't be any screamers. I hate screamers. I hate everyone who makes screamers, so don't worry about that. Uh, but yeah, you'll need to turn your headphones up, and if you don't have a good computer with, uh, good sound, uh, yeah, I have six other let's plays that have good sound. Anyway, I have two cone heads here, one cone head here. Let's get rid of him. Alright. I also noticed in the um, last episode, if I move the mouse, there's a yellow circle. However, if I'm just tapping, there's only a little blue circle, a smaller blue circle. So, the touchscreen thing is really actually very good. Oh, it went right through those guys. What the heck? Come on. Oh, come on. Everything misses that guy. Oh, no. I rolled it down the wrong lane. Oh, well, at least that one got a three combo. Let's try that again. Oh, yeah. All right. Time to try and explode a nut on those six or seven guys. Hey, hey. Now watch. This is going to hit him. And that's going to kill him. Oh, that was it. Oh well. Let's get this very useful plant. This is the potato mine. The potato mine explodes on contact but takes time to arm itself. Um, okay, before I forget, in this episode, uh, I'm going to be um, coughing less. <coughs> Damn it. And clearing my throat less. I didn't say none, I said less. Anyway, here are some new annoying zombies, the javelin zombies. The javelin zombies will run very fast. Well, zombie-wise. They'll run very fast, and then they'll jump over the first plant you put down. So if you put down a walnut to try to protect your plants, it'll jump over that and get to your plants. However, the potato mine, you plant a potato mine, and you let it charge, and then when it charges, <coughs> it will explode. And that coughing was because I accidentally swallowed water the wrong way. That was not because of anything else. Um, it turns out that the game sound to commentary ratio is pretty good, so I haven't changed it. I don't think I will have to change it. Um, also, I realized that this playthrough is going to have a lot of cutting through levels, and I'm sorry about that, but I can't really help that. And, you know, since I'm making these episodes, like, literally an hour after each other, by the time you get to watch them, um, you know, it'll take... Oh, cool, achievement. I'll just finish talking, though. It'll take about ten seconds to click on the next one and see everything. Anyway, achievements. You can get achievements in this game. And no, it's not on Xbox. <laughs> But yes, the achievements, there are a wide range. There's an even wider range in the Game of the Year edition, which is what I have. Um, basically, these achievements are, uh, are things like, they could be as simplistic as you blew up something with your first potato mine, or you blew up a certain amount of zombies with a cherry bomb, or as complex as, um, what's a really hard one? Oh yeah, collecting 8,000 sun in a level. Or something like that. Although there is a level that can actually make that achievement a lot easier. But I'll get into that later. Oh, don't eat my pea shooter. Don't eat my pea shooter. No, 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 no. Get away. Yeah. Damn right. Alright, let's put a one up there. That there. I'm going to put a walnut here next time because that guy's almost eaten. Oh, crap. Javelin zombie. 
Um, what I like to do with javelin zombies is if you have enough sun and they're definitely going to kill your plant, is just put a cherry bomb there. Even when they're in mid jump, which is what I was showing you there, uh, they'll still get screwed over. I know it looks like a waste of cherry bomb, and it almost is. But those javelin zombies are very annoying. Even in later stages of the game, they are still very annoying. And they bring them out very early. Anyway, I found that the turn mine is very useful for the first part and then not useful at all when you start getting a good defense going. I want to get that guy away. Yes. Okay, you'll jump on over that, then you'll become as slow as a normal zombie, maybe even slower. Bingo. Put one there, since that's the only place without a walnut. You know, I think it's a little better that this screencaster thing puts a little blue circle around where it goes, because it illuminates what I'm trying to click at when I'm trying to explain stuff. Okay, come on guys, kill the javelin zombie. Come on, you can do it guys, come on. Yes, alright. Take that javelin zombie. I don't know why I did that. <laughs> Yeah, much on that. Holy crap, he munched on it. Okay, here's a really useful flower. This is called a snow pea. When I was doing my old playthrough of uh, Plants vs. Zombies, I used to call it a ice pea or ice... I don't know. Anyway, it shoots frozen peas that damage and slow the enemy. This is a better version of the pea shooter. I'll show you what it does, and explain some other stuff about it. Okay, putting down some nice sunflowerage here. Alright, now because you can't see the level progress bar because of how this thing works, this um, screen recorder, there are actually two main waves of zombies, not just the final wave. Which means that there's going to be two incoming waves. The game is amping up the difficulty. Not much, but just enough. Which means this is going to be a longer level than the usual ones. See, the potato mines are like infinitely useful, even in later levels at the start, and then they're completely useless by the end of the level. Anyway, now that I have enough sun, I'm going to show off the ice cream for the next zombie that tries to show its face. Here we go. Alright, it shoots a pea that has the same damage as a normal pea. However, when it hits a zombie, it slows the zombie down. Oops. Now, some people think if you plant two of these in a row, will they slow the zombie down even more? Sadly, the answer to that is no. You'll basically be wasting 75 sun, because the snow pea only slows them down a certain amount. They don't slow down anymore, so if you, have, if, if you put down like five snow peas, there's no point. So, what I like to do is put down one snow pea per row, and then pea shooters, because it saves me 75 sun. That really gets wasted. Because it's a long level, I'm actually going to put... Oh, no, I've put it in the wrong place anyway. Okay, I'm putting it, I'm putting the walnuts where I usually put them, so, you know. But if it's a long level, I'll be able to, um... I'm going to drag it so it gets the yellow circle. Um, that, I'll take out that row of sunflowers and replace them with stuff. What am I doing? Okay, every row has a snow pea now. 
Now, I think the snow peas can single handedly take out cone head zombies because if pea shooters can take out a normal zombie, um, the cone heads are double the health. But the snow peas reduce their speed to half. So double and half equal out each other. If you know you've been paying uh, paying attention in fourth grade math. Um, but yeah, they'll equal each other out, and a cone head will be exactly like a useless normal zombie in comparison to a nice uh, snow pea. Sir. See, I'm still calling them nice things. Oops. Oh yeah, and the javelin zombies. The javelin zombies will be slowed down to the pace of a normal zombie when they have the javelin. Let him javelin over that wall not if he even makes it. Yeah, he won't last long. There we go. Didn't even get a munch. Oh crap, oh crap, okay. That that javelin zombie came in too fast for a second. I got one more. I want uh, one of the tall there. Oh crap. That's not gonna end well. Oh, Ah, oh, no, that, that'll work out. Alright, the javelin zombies are no longer threats. Still doesn't mean I like them. I think I can get rid of these sunflowers now. Since, you know, I've got a lot of sun and nothing to do with it. Extend out the walls or something like I'm renovating. Still got a spot here. Okay. Ah, oh, that could have been a bad mistake. some more walnuts out, but oh well. Let me just quickly check the time that I have left. Uh, see if I can get another level done. Hang on. Okay, no, I don't have enough time to put out a new... I don't have time for a new level, so I'm probably just going to cut it here. I probably won't be able to do that with all the levels, guess, like that. That was actually a good guess. Oh, by the way, since I have a couple minutes left, here's a trick you can do with the flowers. If you click on some, they'll fall off. And here's the help screen. Help for plants versus zombies. Plants and zombies game. When the zombies show up, just sit there and don't do anything. You win the game when the zombies get to your house. This help section was brought to you by the zombies. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to take your advice. No offense. Alrighty. Thanks for watching. I will see you guys. Sorry about that. I paused the recording. I will see you guys next time. Now, how do I pause the recording? Ah! Stop recording!